On this episode, we continue the topic of time and examine our video editing process to make things more efficient for Noichi. What's up guys, my name is Alex Caves, and as you know, I have a partner who is editing videos for me, the lovely Noichi Bubak from Brazil. In the last couple of weeks, we have been looking at areas of improvement on her side of things, which is video editing. And so we thought we'd share this with you, uh, some of the behind the scenes operations of how we manage producing these episodes. And by sharing this information, we hope for those of you looking to build a partnership similar to ours with location independence in mind, that uh, you can learn from our mistakes and successes. So my main role is filming and creating content, documenting my creative process and doing these weekly updates. I currently use a Canon T4i with a shotgun mic and a separate voice recorder for capturing better voice quality. Then we use Dropbox, a cloud-based storage platform where I upload all the raw media that Noichi can access and then she takes that media reviews it and starts editing using Premiere Pro by Adobe. So throughout this whole process, we're communicating via WhatsApp almost every day, and we try to FaceTime at least once a week to keep each other up to date on the progress of the videos, as well as what's going on in each other's lives. We're very close friends. Once she's finished with the episode, she'll upload that back onto Dropbox so that I can upload that video to YouTube. We have progressed to where we are able to produce one video a week consistently with additional content for Instagram. But after examining Noichi's process, there were a couple of inefficiencies that we could solve right away. Noichi's major time waster was audio. Now, audio is tricky because it can get very expensive very fast. And I've tried going the affordable wireless route way back when and bought like a $40 transmitter and receiver, but it was literally garbage and I could not use it. And so for the same price, I got a voice recorder. So, so from about midway through the queen size desk project, we've been using this recorder to record my voice ever since. And the quality of the recorder is great, but where this becomes inefficient is during the editing process because when she creates these episodes, she has to review both video and audio, match them together to create the episode. And if I make a mistake of recording multiple takes on one big audio file or vice versa, this makes her life a nightmare trying to find the correct sound for the clip that she wants to use. And believe me, she's expressed frustrations many a times for my mistakes. Move to the Skopje, Noichi. But I have great news. We are now going wireless with this. <laughs> This is a wireless mic transmitter receiver, which was $100 on Amazon, a low end of the wireless mic spectrum, but it's perfect for what we're doing. And one of the best features about this one is that it has a range of 50 meters or over 100 feet. So I've just now mounted the wireless to the DSLR. The sound you are hearing is embedded into the video. So no more separate files. And as you can see and hear, I can have the camera in the far corner of the garage and you may have been able to guess, but I am currently in the bamboo grove. And as I come out, you know, this is pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Quite the upgrade, I would say. So I'm not sure if you're experiencing any significance in the quality of the sound between the two, but for Noichi, this upgrade will be a huge time saver. Genara noite, espero que goste. A little Portuguese for you. <laughs> I do have more to share about our implementations, but for the sake of not making this episode too long, we will cover the rest of it on the next one. Uh, if you're interested in checking out this mic on Amazon, I've placed a link in the description box below. Check it out and uh, please subscribe, share and comment below if you like this episode or don't, it's up to you but we're constantly looking to improve and provide you value. So your thoughts are very important to us. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.